Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the access of uh, nightly recap. Hope everybody is doing well. Usually I wouldn't do uh, a Thursday's video, but uh, my son had uh, a basketball game last night because it was some, it's been crazy weather here uh, all across the Northeast um, and they had a snow day makeup. So I had to go to the game yesterday and tomorrow, guess what? I mean, I think tonight going into tomorrow, we're getting uh, another storm. So for all you guys who are in the Northeast, stay safe, right? Stay safe. It's like one big sheet of ice. It's an absolute mess. Uh, anybody from South Florida or the Southern California area, please, we don't want to hear what you think. All jokes aside, hope everybody is doing well uh, and stay safe. Uh, if you are brand new to the channel, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, if you like the content, uh, if it gives you value, the only thing we ask is take a second uh, click the like button, uh, share, whatever the case may be, uh, and be a part, right? Be a part of this journey. So let's talk about it. Um, you, you can literally go back to I, I, any video and realistically any video in the last, in the last two weeks. And it's the same thing. Technology strong, Tesla weak. Technology strong, Tesla weak. Technology strong, Tesla, guess what, is weak. And that's kind of the whole point. You know, you know, every single channel that the bulls needed to confirm uh, starting from getting reclaimed back the 20 day moving average after the first three days of the year was very successful. We talked about potential chance to go back to all time highs and yada, yada, yada. Here we are. We are back to uh, all time highs. On the flip side is Tesla. You guys remember when Tesla lost the 50 day moving average? And I said, well, that's not a good thing. Do you remember when Tesla lost the 200 day moving average? I said, well, that's definitely not a good thing. Yada, yada, yada. Here we are. You know, here we are 20 points later. Um, and, you know, Tesla continues to suffer, whether it's, you know, whether it's recalls, uh, whether it's price cuts, whether it's Elon Musk, uh, you know, tweeting out that, hey, if I don't have 25, at least 25 percent ownership of Tesla stock, well, what's the point? I might as well you know, do something else somewhere else, right? I'd rather work on AI somewhere else. Whether that's the case, the point is technical analysis told us, okay? Even if you don't know anything about the stock or the company, the most important part, and this is something I continue to preach, is above the 50-day, that's super bullish. Below the 50-day is super bearish. Below the 200-day, turn the lights off uh, on your way out. And that's kind of where it is. But everything else is rising. And, and again, it's I'm running out of superlative, you know, like like hyperboles to talk about how great this market is. Every stock that's been breaking out is just going nuts. AMD continues to go nuts. Nvidia, God, just put it at 600 already. Why even, you know, why even even have a session? Just put it at 600. Already. Look at Meta for tomorrow, right? Meta is a stone throws away from taking out last week's highs. Look at Microsoft. Microsoft a stone throws away from taking out the highs from two days ago. Look at, um, what else you? Microsoft, Apple finally woke up today, right? We'll get to the pivots in a second. Apple finally woke up today, got an upgrade after two weeks worth of selling. Um, nice pivot today. It traded right below uh, the 50-day moving average. Remember how we talked about Tesla below the 50-day is bearish? Well, if Apple gets above the 50-day moving average, well, that's super bullish as well. Look at Amazon, right? Amazon, you know, today closed right at the five-day moving average. If you are brand new to the channel and are not familiar with the five-day, it's not really recognized as something mainstream that people use. But for me, it's short-term sentiment. Whoever has control of the five-day probably has control of the next day. And if you can see how Amazon is trading today, right? It traded right to the five-day, got rejected a little bit. If it can reclaim back the five-day moving average going into tomorrow's session, well, this thing looks great as well. So the market looks great. I mean, it's absolutely great. And the question is, well, what's going to happen, right? Well, what, what, what can continue? What, what, what can possibly happen that the market will finally just stop going up? Who cares, right? Who cares? Stop trying to figure out. Stop trying to short uh, every downtick reversal. Uh, even today in the queues, right? Even today in the queues, 
if you look at intraday, right? Intraday, the queues just started just, just getting hit. And they came out with a tip auction right around, uh, I forgot what the time it was, rough, maybe it was around two o'clock, an auction came out and the market just started ripping again. So just like I've been saying for pretty much the, the majority of 2023, if you're a bull side trader, stick to the strong stocks, you know, buy them on the breakouts, buy them into dips on the very next day. Uh, if they give you a week open, those are gifts. Those, those week opens are gifts buy them in the continuation channel. And that's been pretty much the formula for the last, you know, for the year uh, of this really aggressive bull market. Are there stocks uh, that still look like crap? Yeah, I mean, look at Tesla. Tesla looks like crap. Look at Shopify today. Shopify uh, got downgraded today, right? Shopify closed right on the 20-day moving average. If you're looking for, you know, if you're looking for a name that has weakness, right? Look, look at Shop. If they could confirm the 20-day moving average for tomorrow's session. Hey, who knows? Maybe this thing could get hit as well. But like I say every single day, we don't know what's going to happen the next day. We could prepare. You know, we could prepare, and that's all we could ask for ourselves. I, I tweeted out right before I left the gym. I tweeted out, I go, wow, this market looks heavy. You know, this market looks like it's about to, there's a shot, of, this thing goes red. The NASDAQ closed up one and, almost 1.5%, one right? Look, to, to try to sm act smart, that you know what you're talking about, that you think you know all the answers and you have all the answers and you got this all figured out. I'm doing this for nearly 25 years. It's going to be 25 years for me in May. I'm telling you right now, no one knows anything, right? I'm prepared for Meta for a breakout tomorrow, right? Does it mean it's going to happen? Who the hell knows? I'm prepared for Microsoft for a breakout tomorrow. Does it mean it will go? No, it doesn't mean anything. But the point is, if you don't put in the research, then you have no chance of finding the stock it's going to go. You have no chance... Uh, to getting involved with a second day play or a dip or uh, a weak open uh, trap for shorts buy. If you don't put in the work, you have zero opportunity to capture any of these moves. And if you wake up at you know 9.30 in the morning and look at the hot stock of the day, you already lost, right? You already lost. And the point is, whether this market continues to go higher or stops going higher tomorrow, we don't know, but it's our job to be prepared. Long, short, and different. So the majority of my... Uh, uh, the majority of my um, setups for tomorrow are to the long side, right? But I obviously have two setups to the short side that in case we turn, right, I'll be ready. Shopify, more Tesla, yada, 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 rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. So as much as I'd like to sit there for the next 20 minutes saying how great this market is, you know how great the market is. Anybody who's shorting the market uh, knows how great the market is. Again, guys, very simplistic formula to keep you out of trouble. Below supply is negative. Above supply is positive. And again, if you don't understand what that is, you see all this You see all this demand here, right? Demand, right? The 20-day demand. When we fell below the 20-day demand, the market went down. We got back above the 20-day demand, right? So all you have to go back is to like three, four, five, six videos, right? In a row. Above the 20-day moving average, reclaimed supply, and we went higher. This is the highest close, all-time highs. Uh, next measure potential for the Qs are 416 and change. Um, and again, let's see what happens. But tomorrow, definitely Prime Watch. Uh, Meta, Microsoft, Amazon, uh, continuation today on Apple. And let's see if we get continuation weakness on Shopify and Tesla. So here's basically uh, here's basically the pivots uh, for the day, all right? Tesla 212, uh, there's a reason why you're not seeing this one. It didn't confirm and it's something... I want to make sure it's an organic breakout tomorrow. That's why you're not seeing this one. I, this this one never confirmed. Just something that I, I need to see. There's real buyers coming in on, on the trade. Uh, but anyway, uh, 212 held twice. Uh, if it gives up this gap, and again, Tesla gapped up about four dollars today. Uh, if it gaps up, if it gaps up tomorrow, I mean, if it, it, it gaps up again tomorrow and starts losing today's channel, it's going to get hit. But Tesla got hit today again. It lost 212. Uh, 212, first traded down to 210 and a half, rallied back a little bit, and then all of a sudden it lost back that 210 and a half and traded all the way down to the 208 level. I still think in the next, and again, like I said, it doesn't necessarily have to go down every single day, but the longer now it continues to build below supply, the high probability it will test this uh, 205 uh, 60s channel. But this thing, uh, just, just an incredible trader every single day. Uh, MBLY, nice move. Uh, MBLY held uh, twice if it builds below. Uh, can flush below 218.19. If you guys remember 
On Tuesday's video, we talked about iRobot. Remember iRobot, we talked about the earnings low, right? The earnings low play. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah this would happen. So MBOY, uh, same thing today, broke below uh, the two, uh, 2819 area. Went down, you know, went down a little bit less than a dollar. A nice move on MBLY, and this is the lowest close uh, in the whole formation, so that was good. Uh, Apple was good. It took freaking forever to get there, but it finally worked out. I got long uh, off this uh, 8720s, 8730s area. Uh, nice move on Apple. Traded all the way up to uh, it traded all, all the way up to the 20 day initially, and then finally towards the end of the day, it traded over the 50. The key with Apple is it has to reclaim back the 50 day, right? If it could reclaim back the 50 day moving average in the next couple of days, then it could start filling up this whole gap. And, and Apple, again, one of the top three uh, major weights on the NASDAQ 100. If it could get above the 50 day, then everything will continue uh, to get uh, exaggerated to the upside. And. MBLY start covering some blah 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 and that is it right Apple Tesla Apple Tesla and uh, Apple Tesla and M MBLY right uh, everything else continues to go nuts uh, Nvidia AMD all the semiconductors are just going absolutely berserk but the ma majority of these semiconductors names Avago actually looks pretty good not something that I'm going to trade it's just way too thin for me guys watch this Avago you know, keep an eye on Vago. I'm, I'm actually going to give you the price just because it's thin. I'm not going to trade it. Uh, watch a Vago tomorrow. This thing could start clearing out 11.52, right? For all you guys who trade options or whatever the case may be, this is just a way too thin of a stock for me. Uh, but if a Vago starts clearing out, starts building above uh, 11.52, this thing could wake up uh, as well. So that's it, guys. That's it. Hope everybody stays safe. Great market, long, short, uh, very organic. Love the liquidity. Um, you know, especially in the, in the beta names, you could do, you know, you do some pretty decent size in the majority of these things. The options market is still dictating uh, the majority of where these stocks are going to go, especially if they're buying uh, deep out of the money calls with short term expiration. Tomorrow is Friday. The weeklies expire tomorrow. Let's see if we can get that exaggerated move uh, from something that is on our focus list for tomorrow, whether it's Meta, Microsoft, um, um, Meta, Microsoft, Amazon, et cetera. Let's see. Let's see. Let's find out. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. Stay safe. We got another storm coming. And with God's help, I'll see you guys on the field tomorrow. Take